Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out BTS's on dance practice. Really excited for this. After this, I think I get to react to me some music videos. So I'm excited for that. Get finally get to react to music videos. But here we're gonna see all the choreography. We really saw it a lot in that um, little film that they did uh, in, outside and like a little kid. It was really cool. But you know, it was what is it called Connect Manifesto, whatever it was called. It was dope. If it was so dope, why can't I remember the name? But anyways, really excited to be checking this out, seeing all the choreography with like a fixed camera and just seeing everything without the weird cuts, cuts or the camera tricks that they were doing to sort of hide certain things in there. But yes, again, just excited so you know what it like up. Oh, so they really out here with all the backup dance. Like, this is really part of the choreography? Like, every time they perform live, they there. Oh, okay. Pop off, okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, where, where did Jimin come from, though? Oh, I didn't know they were gonna have all, like, the dancers like that. KB, they really disguise when the members appear and disappear really well. Okay. I remember that part being super dope. Okay, it's really dope that they incorporate, like this, this is part of the regular performance. Oh, the background is killing it too, like there's such a part of the choreography. But also BTS. Like how can you miss Jin in that, like, periwinkle suit, drip, drip. Okay. Still, okay, BTS, okay. Oh, 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 that shit was dope. All right, pop it off with some choreography, like, hello. Don't go get Jim and I wearing shoes. Is this regular? Hobie boy, Hobie boy. Coordinating all this, man, hello, bro. But it's it's so dope. It's so epic. Like, I don't think that, like, it just feels so epic, and, like, it's, it's so cool. Okay. Shit wavy. All right. Okay. Pop off, like, bro. Okay. All in is so dope. Like, there's so much also happening between BTS and the backup dancers. It kind of feels like a lot, but it doesn't at the same time. Like, there's a lot happening, a lot for your eye to look at. But in a good way, like I'm not struggling, which just makes me rewatch it like a million times, which is good, right? And it's so cool, like it just, it's a performance, like damn, like Webster Dictionary Google link to this performance because that's what this is, man. Oh, so this is actually part of the track. A little breakdown? Am I tripping? I haven't listened to the song yet on the actual like, album, so. But it's dope either way. It's really cool. <laughs> Hype up, man. You need that hype, though. I just wonder about the backup dancers because it feels like the just BTS's choreography could just stand alone without the backup dancers.
Like, it's not necessary, but the backup dancers definitely add so much to the performance. Okay, again, popping off. Whoever's choreographing BTS's stuff, man. You keep doing it, because this shit fire. That sound of all the drumsticks dropping is dope. Okay, that was really dope. It's so interesting that they, because... BTS has had backup dancers in the choreography before, but like it, like it's just like really cool. It just feels so epic. It's a whole performance. It's really cool. It, BTS parts do feel like they can stand out, or that they do stand out, but they can stand apart from the whole marching band thing that's happening. It it feels like it does, so that's what I really like about it. But they just still like work together very well. They complement each other, and that's really really cool to see. Is that like it's not necessary for them to be there? So like. That's a lot of people too, so I don't know if like scheduling everybody to be doing every show for that can really work out for the future. It might, I don't know, but that's still a lot. So, but it was still really dope. It was really epic and stuff. And seeing everything with all that angles and everything, like you get a good look. And BTS killing their choreography, the dance game, man, dance game. Like they've proven themselves to be one of the best. Like with this comeback and all the choreographies, like. That shit hit, man. That, like, bro, okay, BT pop off as dancers, okay? Like, BTS is, like, great choreography before, but I've never considered them, or I guess never really crossed my mind to think of them as a whole great dancers, but they're really proving that. They're working hard, putting in time and effort, and you know what? It's paying off, BTS. Go to for your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about BTS's on dance practice. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see my videos a second to come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or all the description down below, or at the end screen, share with your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.